The iPod Touch gives you a multi-touch interface where your fingers do the walking, the tapping, and the dragging. You navigate through your iPod Touch by using finger gestures along with the standard buttons and menus. The first thing you see on an iPod Touch, besides the time and date, is the message Slide to Unlock. Slide your fingers across the message to unlock your iPod Touch. All your content is now available at the touch of a finger. You'll see music, video, and photo buttons along the bottom row of the main menu. Touch one of these buttons and a new menu appears with more selections you can touch. In fact, you can touch every menu or button you see on your iPod's display. The playback buttons give you control over playing songs, audiobooks, podcasts, and videos. You can get your iPod Touch to do your bidding with a few handy finger gestures. Here are some examples. Tap once to select an item. Drag to scroll up or down a list slowly. Flick to scroll up or down quickly. Touch and hold to stop scrolling. Pinch to zoom out of photos and web pages. Unpinch to zoom into photos and web pages. And no, unpinch isn't a word. But you get the idea. You can also double tap to zoom in or out of photos and web pages. Now, to get down to the business your iPod Touch was designed for. Touch the music button and notice the new buttons that appear along the bottom of the display. You can touch these buttons to view a list of playlists, artists, songs, and more. With a flick of your finger, you can scroll through the list and make your selections. If you touch an album name, you see the songs on that album. Touch any song to start playing it. You'll also see the playback control buttons appear. Of course, all these controls work by touch and include back, play, and forward buttons, as well as a volume slider. Remember, you can press the select button on the front of the iPod to return to the main menu at any time.